Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Friday. Happy Friday. Um, I am going to go through and show you some of the things I got this week. I didn't get, I don't think I got, I bought one makeup thing this week. I mostly went and shopped some sales, and I think I'm going to go do just a little shopping today. I've got to get a birthday gift for um, my little girl's friend, so that'll get me out at the mall. Um, and I will be right back. I'm going to go put Bridget down in front of the fireplace and um, okay, show you I'm actually going to start off with a few gifts that I got this week. I think they were kind of like belated um, Christmas gifts. Um, one is, it was funny, I came home yesterday and there was a package in my garage. We always leave the garage door open because the cats come in and out. Anyway, yada yada. Um, and I saw a box and it said fragile, glass, you know, this end up, all that kind of stuff. And I was thinking, what is that? And it had my name on it. And then when I, I didn't have who it was from, and then the note just said inside, it said, I loved your Christmas picture. I love, and that was it. I could tell it had gotten cut off. But when I looked at what it was, I knew exactly who it was from. And it was from Elaine, and her YouTube name is Smarty. 0317 and she sent me this Wedgwood um, I guess China Angel and it is just gorgeous she I don't know if you remember last year she sent me a Versace Christmas ornament and I should have shown it to you this year I actually didn't put it on my tree I put it um, on my China cabinet so I could enjoy it right here by my table but I just think that is beautiful she has the most, I told her she has caviar taste for sure. So I immediately just wrote her and told her it had her name all over it and thanked her. And she said, yeah, I had sent her a Christmas card with, um, you know, our picture, our family picture on it. And that's what she was saying is that she loved the Christmas card. So thank you so much, Elaine. And, you know, I appreciate it. I'll be bringing that out next year, if not before. I might find a place for it now. Then my friend Sheila and I'm sure you all know or recognize her name too. It's Great Makeup with a an eight. She I had sent her a little surprise package, um, I don't know, a while ago. And um, I went to the post office and wasn't really expecting anything and I had a package from her. And it was, let me see, all kinds of good stuff in here. Um, first of all, it was funny, she sent her, she has three chihuahuas and they sent Bridget a card and a little doggy bone in here and it was so funny because when I called Bridget over it pretty much looked like the same bones that I give her so I thought she would just take it like she normally does and run off with it and go eat it but she sniffed it and she sniffed it and sniffed it and she didn't take it out of my hand so I just kind of set it up on um, my bar stool with it hanging off a little bit so she could see it and she looked at it and looked at it and then she started, you know, crying for it. So I gave it to her and this time she snatched it out of my hand and she ran off into the living room. So I came around the corner to see what she was doing and she was over here in this chair behind me. She likes to lay here in a blanket and she was burying it. And it, I don't know if you guys, if any of your dogs do that, but it is the cutest thing. We love to watch her bury stuff because she will take that little nose and bury it and then she'll get the blankets over and then she'll even, you know, take her nose and press them down and it's so cute. And that's what she did with that bone. It was like she knew that bone was special, but she did eat it. <laughs> with, probably within 30 minutes she went back and ate it. I think she was, I think because I was watching her, she was a little worried about it. One time I gave her a ginger snap and she took it out in the backyard and I thought she took it back out there and ate it. And later I found a little hole with a ginger snap in it. It was so cute. I should have taken a picture. But anyway, Enough of my Bridget stories. Um, she is into, she's into all the same stuff we all are, and she loves philosophy, and she sent this to me, and it is the coconut chocolate chip ice cream, and it's one of these things that I've never had where it's the shampoo, the body wash, and the shampoo, body wash, and bubble bath. And all I can think of is those ladies on QVC when they put like that enormous amount on that sponge, and it's so funny. That show is just like a comedy to me. But anyway, um, as soon as I got it, Brooke took it into her bathroom, and Brooke has already washed her hair with it twice, and her hair has been so shiny. And Will used it in his bath last night, um, like as a, you know, a bath gel or whatever, and it smells so good. Well, you guys can imagine how it smells. Anything that's coconut chocolate chip ice cream is going to smell good. a 
uh, cream. Let's see. It says, this is my homemade ham, hand body lotion. Hope you enjoy. Love, Sheila. I have not tried this yet because I've had it sitting out here waiting for you guys, but I told her that was so Martha Stewart of her to have her own body cream. Of course, my nose is stopped up. I can't hardly smell it. But um, I've had, like, the sneezies lately. Um, but then she also sent me this. I've never even heard of this brand. I'm sure it's a good one. It's the, um, is that Perlier? This is the Eat, Eat, Pray, Love, Relief Roll-On, White Lotus, Romantic Flowers. And then it is the um, Nurturing Body Balm. Then this is the cap to the thing. And then she also sent me some samples of some other stuff. So thank you, Sheila. The rest Sheila. is just um, stuff I've picked up this week. Um, this first thing is something kind of neat. I bought this at JCPenney's. Um, I think first of the week I got Brooke a white one and then I went she loved it so much I went back to get her some more and I was only able to get her a purple one but I grabbed this one for me and it's not my typical colors I don't typically wear brown but it was the only color they had in a large because it was in the like um, I guess junior section but it's just one of those long thermals but it has the thumb hole so it comes all the way down like that and then your thumb goes through it and I have always loved those because I love a shirt that comes all the way down and that just doesn't happen to me very much because I have kind of kind of wide shoulders and long arms and you know how things always shrink up right there so there's so many tops that I end up giving to Brooke because of that but um so I got this one and I ended up getting um Gina wanted some so I got some for her too and her girls and they're just real neat so if you live near JC Penney's they might still have some and then I ran in TJ Maxx one day and I had been wanting some of these um leggings that kind of look like denim but they're still leggings and these were $6.99 so I picked them up they're active basic and of course I got the large because they were in that little junior section and I like to dry stuff <laughs> I'm not scared of what the label says I'll just buy whatever I think um let's see went in American what is that American Eagle that I love so much this week and I got this top that I'm wearing, and I love it. Look at the buttons. I love that. And I got this off of the sale rack. They had, like, a big sale rack, and I think everything was, like, an additional 30%. So I got this, and then I got this little T-shirt. I've already washed everything. Um, it's just a regular little T-shirt because I wear these a lot um, in the winter and in the summer. I wear Sometimes I'll put a top under them in the wintertime, and then I wear them in the summer all the time. And I think this ended up being $5, and this ended up being like $10 or something like that. I can't even remember. It was cheap. Then I went in Aeropostale because that is Brooke's favorite store and got her. She wanted, she had a gift certificate, and she wanted some hoodies to wear to school. That's her new thing. And, um, I, of course, I had to look on the clearance rack, and I just got this T-shirt for myself. It's just a plain old Aeropostale, but I love the light pink and um, I think I got this for four dollars or something like that so I picked that up and the next stuff is from Victoria's Secret um, you guys remember last week I said that their sale didn't start until Tuesday and I was just going to shop online well I had a comment that said you better just go to the store because there's nothing online well sure enough every single thing I wear a medium in there. I like their vintage slim sweatpants. And I wear a medium. And every time I click medium, then I would go to click the color and it would say, you know, no available colors or something like that. So I didn't end up ordering anything, but I did go to the sale. I was there at 7.30, right after school. Um, right after I dropped Will off at school. I was there about 7.45 and went to the sale. So I got some good stuff. We'll start getting everything out of the bag here. And um, I've wa I think I washed these. I haven't worn them yet. So I got these uh, little, like I said, I like the Vintage Slim. And the reason I like these is because, of course, they're slimmer. And I love wearing them with Uggs because they just kind of go right down into the Ugg and not too much blouses out. I don't have to worry about, you know, I don't have to worry about anything. And I just think they look cute. So um, I got these, and they're like the heathered. Um, purple and it says this across the behind <laughs> one thing I threw in here that I got at 
we joined Costco last week. We'd always been members of Sam's and we had kind of let that membership run out because we're not big bulk buyers. And so we joined Costco and you guys are always telling me about different things that you find at Costco and I didn't know anybody that was a member or didn't want to ask. So we joined and um, the only thing I found that day, I had heard all kinds of good stuff that was there. Michael Kors this and all kinds of stuff. But of course when I went, the only thing I found is they had a table of these, um, the Lucky brand that I love, these little thermal shirts. And all of them had a design, and I got this one that just has that design. And it's the scoop neck, like I like. So, and I think it was um, $15. So, and then Will got a Wii game, and we got some other, some pillows and stuff, but that's the only clothes that I got. Then, now, for Victoria's Secret. This is one of my favorite things, and this will be probably geared more towards the spring, or I'd wear it now, but I just thought it was pretty. It's one of those big, long sweaters, like that, and it actually looks better buttoned up, but I unbuttoned it. It's got the buttons like that, and it's got a hood, and this is, everything I think is from that pink collection. Um, and it was regularly $44.50, and I got this for $16.00. Yeah, $16.99. So I got that. I got this. Oh, yeah. And it was regularly um, $34.50, and I got it for $18.99. And it's just a top with the sequins. And I just thought, I thought this would look good with um, black pants and even a boyfriend blazer or a cardigan and just some... Like little, I've got some little black Mary Jane shoes, or um, it would also look good with black yoga pants if you wanted to go that way, and maybe like your black Uggs or something. But I just loved the um, colors. You could dress it up. It would really look good under a black boyfriend jacket, I think, and some black pants. So, I love that. Something else in here I got this week. When I was at JCPenney's, I got um, these out of that little junior section. I got the large, and they were regularly $14.00. And they were on sale. I think I got them for $6.99 or something. And they're just gray leggings. And <clears throat> I've been wanting this color that's gray, but not like the heathered gray. I wanted this kind of steel gray. Because this looks good with brown, tan, and black. It looks good with everything. It's really a great neutral. And I really like wearing it with brown and like tan because that contrast is really looks good. So yeah, I got those. I even had one more pair of these and I ended up putting them back. I had the blue ones and I put those back. But I got um, this pair of the um, sweatpants in pink. I have to say these are probably my favorites. And they have just that right there. And then they have, of course, have pink across the butt. If I could choose, I probably wouldn't get the words across the butt. But I think everybody's so used to it now. Used to probably last year I would have never done that. But, you know, I'm at, I'm at my new 40 um, what, do, what would I call it? My renewal. <laughs> but um, these were regularly $39.50 and I got them for $22.99. I got the yeah. gray ones. Gray ones are always good to have. And they, I love these. These have the dog on them with the heart. And let's see, these were $39.50 regularly and I got them for $19.99. So that's just a great deal because these really wash well. And um, these do not run small. Like you would think because they are geared more towards, you know, probably younger than I am, girls, um, that they might run small, but I wear a medium and it's, you know, just plenty big. So if you're a six to eight like I am, um, medium is going to be plenty big for you and they don't shrink a whole lot. So um, I was just real tickled with these because like I said, I wear them I all the time. I a few little um, pieces of makeup. They had a bunch of their makeup on sale. And um, Kirsten, if you're watching, Rose and Lieb. I just got a beautiful card from her for Christmas and I've been meaning to go write her. I needed to find her email but Kristen thank you for your Christmas card and it was funny because I had just picked up a few things from Victoria's Secret for you so I needed your address anyway so that worked out perfect. So that's I didn't grab anything for myself because I already have so much but it was some stuff that I had sent her before that she liked. The only thing I um got for myself this week, and actually this is one of the things that I had ordered last week, is um, I wanted another pair of Uggs. You guys know that I just ended up wearing mine all the time. I had to pick between the um, sand and the gray, 
and I told John I've always wanted to sand, but I didn't want them to get dirty. I was scared they were going to get dirty. So he had this solution. He ordered me to sand, and I haven't worn them yet. I'm going to wear them today. And um, I actually just got them yesterday. I think yesterday. Yesterday or day before yesterday. And um, I love them. And I'm so glad I got them. And this was his solution to that, is he went ahead and ordered the um, sheepskin care kit from UGG which I think I've mentioned this to you guys before. I already had the spray. It pulls out like this. I already had the spray, but I've used, you know, right much of it because I've sprayed, you know, all of mine, and I have enjoyed the, these that I have on now. I have on these until I put those on. These are wonderful. I have just loved these so much. These are wonderful for around the house, you know, when I take Bridget outside running the kids to school, to the bus stop. They're just wonderful. I love those. So I've been spraying all of mine, so I don't have a whole lot left. So I got um, sheepskin freshener. And then here's the brush, and I'm gonna have to read up on what all of these things do. Um, this is the cleaner and conditioner. And then this should be just the, yeah, the protector. So if I get anything on them, I did read a little bit about what to do. Um, it did say, just to tell you guys, and it makes sense, if you do clean them, don't dry them with like um, a hair dryer or put them in front of something. Let them, you know, dry on their own. Put something in them to keep their shape and let them dry on their own because you don't want them to get kind of warped looking. I don't know if you've ever had that happen. Yeah, that is but it. Um, I am going to do a quick outfit of the day, and I'm going to let you go enjoy your weekend. I have on this shirt that I got from... Uh, American Eagle, uh, American Eagle belt. These are my favorite jeans that I got from, oh, we'll see, the Ann Taylor Loft. They are the Modern Slim, and then these are my new shoes, and they feel so good. Everybody knows what a new pair of Uggs feels like. So, I'm just going around scooting, doing errands today, and I don't know if you can guys can see Brooke over here by the fire. She loves the fireplace. That's her favorite thing is to come in and lay over there. You be a sweet girl? Are you a sweet girl? You're so pretty. Okay, for accessories, I just have on these earrings that I think I got at Kohl's. I think they were Daisy Fuentes. Um, I have on this necklace that I dug out of my jewelry box. This is, you'll never be able to see it, but it's a teeny tiny little um, braided gold chain. It's got white gold, yellow gold, and rose gold. And then with a tiny little cross, um, on one of my birthdays, and I think it was like my four, either 13th or 14th, I'm thinking 14th birthday, um, I, it was my birthday and my dad came home and he brought me this necklace and then another one that had a small sand dollar. And you'll probably see me wear that sometime. But, um, and it just was so special because you know, when I grew up, my dad didn't do a whole lot of shopping. My mom always did the shopping. And it was just neat that he picked it out for me. And so I put that on today. I had been thinking about it, and I wanted to get it out. So I have that on. And I have on just my coach ring, um, one of my Michael Kors watches, and uh, my nail polish combo. Ooh, it was kind of a fail. Um, I tried the Deborah Lippman Fashion with... Deborah Lippman, dream a little dream of me just to see what would happen, and it bombed a little bit. It looks, um, I wouldn't do it again. I just thought, well, maybe it would add, you know, just something to that fashion. Of course, it was just one coat of each. Maybe if I'd have done, no, I think I did do two coats of the fashion. Um, so, I mean, it just looks really nude with a little bit of pizzazz, but I probably wouldn't do that one again. Um, but it's fun just to play. And then the fragrance I have on today, I tried a new one of the Joe Malone's, and I'm loving these. It's the Dark Amber and Ginger Lily, and it was kind of strong, so I just used it on its own, and I'm going to see how I like it um, throughout the day. And um, I think that is it. And um, I meant to do this earlier in the week, but I've got a really cute picture I took of Little Girl and Sasha, my two female kitties. They were in the garage sleeping together in one of their beds like they do, and it is just the cutest thing. So I took some pictures of them, and I think I'm going to add them to the end of this video. So, um, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you for all your compliments. I mean, 
it is so, I try to go through, I read every comment that you give me, I read them twice because I read them when they come through and then I read them when I'm, I try to just, you know, go down and just answer everybody's questions because I just don't have time to, you know, answer back to every single person. But it is so hard to, when I read that wonderful compliment and comment and just different things that you say, it's so hard to not right back to you but I just can't but I want you to know that I read it and I appreciate it and sometimes John walks over and I'm just smiling because I'm reading all those wonderful comments so I do read them I appreciate them and I just wanted to thank you again and I hope you have a great weekend and I'll let you go bye bye